Hey guys, quick video today showing you how to update your JTAG using JTAG tool. Okay, once you've opened it, um, you can just go put in your CPU key. Uh, if you don't know your CPU key, you basically power on your JTAG with the eject button. That boots you into Zelle or Zellus, and you can basically copy down the CPU key, pop it into the main part, and then go to Freeboot. If you're doing a Falcon, then obviously make sure you've clicked the right SMC points. Okay, once you've done that, just create Freeboot. You're going to find your original NAND. If you don't have your original NAND, you make up a backup of your current JTAG NAND. Um, I've got another video showing you how to do that, it's really easy. So once you've located your backup or your original, click on Open. And then it's going to do its thing. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Okay, and that's that. Done. Click save. Okay. Transfer your free boot. Oops. Transfer your freeboot along with your NAND to your flash stick. Okay. Rename freeboot to UPD flash. Okay, UPD flash. I'm just going to change that to. That was actually a backup of the JTAG's NAND that I did. Right. There we go. Yeah, turn on. Switch over to the JTAG. Oops. You want to load up XCX menu. Make sure you've got uh, Flash 360 XCX on there as well. So there's our XCX menu, pop in USB stick and your Flash 360 to XCX and update. So we want to go to your Flash 360 to XCX. Oops. you got all the different options there. We're obviously updating our NAND, so we want to go option A. And just keep, and again press A. And don't worry about this little blurb here. If you've got your original NAND, you won't actually see this. It'll just carry on. But as this is not the original NAND, it's just a backup of the free boot image we had on there before. We just want to press start button to ignore, and continue, and then A again. And now it's doing its thing. Okay, so that's how you update your NAND. Off oh, once this is um, written an uh, image to your NAND, you want to unplug the power and let it sit for about 30 seconds and then power it on, and then you've got an updated JTAG. Okay, guys, thanks.